it was an absolute disgrace um, to hear both Nadine Dorries and Jacob Rees-Mogg use their television um, platform to condemn the committee that was investigating Boris Johnson. Um, Rees-Mogg called it a kangaroo court. Uh, Nadine Doris parroted what he said, because I suppose she can't really think of very much original to say herself. Um, in fact, um, Rhys Mogg talked about marsupials, um, and uh, Nadine Doris said the committee have demonstrated very clearly that they have decided early on to find him guilty. I don't think there was ever a world in which this committee was going to find Boris innocent, she said. She went on to say that um, it changed the rules, it lowered the bar for finding against Johnson. Now, there's a fellow called Greenberg, and uh, he's received a good number of complaints, and uh, he heads the, um, the standards watchdog in the House of Parliament and has powers to investigate an MP if he believes they have committed a breach of the code of conduct. He has received apparently a huge number of complaints raising concerns about the language used, um, disparaging the Privileges Committee. I think this is very positive. He hasn't said yet that he is going to do something, but he certainly hasn't ruled it out. I would be very keen for him to um, seriously uh, question the behaviour of both Doris and Mogg. Um, Doris, of course, is hugely entertaining. Uh, what she calls a news programme is a, a farce. And the other day on Friday, was it yesterday, she was doing some sort of Theresa May type dancing. It was um, hilarious. Her moves were, well, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted her to do the worm. I, say, I was saying to myself, go on, girl, do the worm, do the worm. And I could see that she was... She was holding herself back just a little, just a little. But um, and Rhys Mogg is coherent and um, you know, a, a wonderful presenter. But both of them are sitting MPs and the rules should debar them from fronting a television programme, uh, whether it's a news programme or an entertainment programme. It, it, it should debar them, absolutely. And neither of them, I think, got permission to do what they're doing. And both of them are clearly feathering their nest for when they lose their seat at the next election. It can't come too quickly, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they're losing their seat. Um, I think they both deserve to um, be excoriated, frankly, uh, for their behaviour. Absolutely. And uh, Rhys Mogg goes on and on and on about his respect for Parliament. He has none, as he's demonstrated. He only has respect for his own opinions and for his own importance. And Nadine Doris, well, have you read her books? When I was ill, when I was in hospital, I read the lot. Not a very long journey from one side of the brain to the other, but um, a lot of the extraordinary scenes. And what struck me as so so astonishing was the um, difference in style between the books, which are sort of racy page turners <laughs> in their way, and her tweets, which are almost incoherent, and indeed her television appearance, which is so extraordinarily <laughs> uh, incompetent as to be riveting, riveting. You just sit there longing for the next moment. I, I, I've noticed now her, her little monologues and interjections are getting shorter and shorter because I think even the television programme can't trust her to read the auto cue.